afternoon. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what we're looking at now is a, a, a light meter, light power meter that I'm developing. Um, often when we are testing things like Joule Thieves and other high efficiency uh, light sources, we're in a position where we have to compare the brightness of, uh, of lights like LEDs. This one's specifically for testing Joule Thieves. What I've got here is a very sensitive uh, light intensity to frequency converter that is mounted in a light tight chamber with a reference LED. That's one of our standard white LEDs right in there. Uh, and a diffuser. There's a half of a ping pong ball cut in there as a diffuser mounted in there. Okay. So the light sensor, light to frequency converter, is a uh, TSL-235A light to frequency converter. And it looks like that. It's in there. And I got it from SparkFun Electronics and it produces a square wave frequency output that is proportional to the irradiance in microwatts per square centimeter. That's a log log graph there, nice and linear in log log space. So I programmed the Arduino to read the frequency and convert it roughly into an irradiance figure and display it on the screen there. So I used uh, a sketch from the frequency counter library and uh, put in some stuff for driving the LCD screen and doing the conversion to, uh, in this case, nanowatts per square centimeter because I'm, I'm looking at low ranges of the light. Okay, so I've already got the sketch uploaded into the board and uh, everything is so set up here. I'll just put that on, the, on this Velcro there and wait for an input. And uh, so let me go ahead and plug in the Arduino Oh, what's that? Uh -huh. Shameless plea for money. Okay, so so you can see we have a display of the frequency in Hertz and then a figure for nanowatts per um, per square centimeter and we're sampling we're actually gating the frequency every 100 milliseconds and then averaging over that 100 milliseconds gate time and then doing that, taking a sample every half a second and writing that to the, to the LCD screen there. So that 20 to 30 hertz you're seeing there indicates that the sensor is picking up a little bit of light and what it's doing is it's picking up the ambient room light shining through the LED. So I'll show you what happens when I shadow that. Okay. So my hand is shadowing the system. Now it's off. So we get 20, 10 to 20 hertz or so call it 22 nanowatts per square centimeter of illumination simply leaking through that LED right from the overhead room light okay so now let's get some kind of test unit here so this is one of my jewel thieves here and I've taken its LED off and then what we'll do is we'll plug in the the LED the, the standard LED that's in our uh, sensor unit there. Make sure I got the polarity right. And of course I, I don't. Okay, so 
There's the right polarity there. Red is positive. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so now we'll just turn that on. We'll turn it on, I said. Okay, so now this Jewel Thief I have set up to operate in a couple of different modes. Right now we're in the low intensity light mode. And uh, the chip is giving us 430 Hz and a rough estimate of the power at 473 nanowatts per square centimeter. Okay, so that's the low power mode. So let me switch to the higher power mode there. Okay, so now we've got that LED shining brilliantly. And now we have uh, 16 and a half microwatts per square centimeter, a frequency of around 15 kilohertz. Now remember that the room light is giving us about 20 hertz or so of illumination on here. So what I'm going to do is shadow the room light. That's with the room light shadowed. That's without the shadow. With shadow. Without shadow. With shadow. Without shadow. Shadow. No shadow. Okay, I think you can see that even with the uh, LED shining brightly, this thing is still sensitive enough to be able to tell the small change from the room light uh, shining through the LED, adding to the light that it's actually measuring. Okay, so we're seeing the frequency figure kind of slowly dropping and that's normal that means that the illumination from the LED is slowly declining because after all the battery is running down in the Joule Thief alright so this system will give you a very sensitive way of comparing, comparing the performance of your Joule Thief by looking at the intensity of the light using an instrumental method uh, with the light to frequency converter chip and the Arduino with the frequency counting library installed. Okay, let me go back to the low intensity mode here. Now I'm going to shadow the thing to cut the room light out. Unshadowed. Shadowed. Unshadowed. Shadowed. Thank you for watching.